Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Up to this point, we have learned how to take Laplace transforms using our table of transforms that we have derived. Here, what we're going to do is begin to talk about the inverse transform, getting some practice at looking at a function of s, the, the Laplace domain version of, of the function, the transform function, function of s, and go backwards to recover our function of time. So that's a very important skill because ultimately what we'll be doing soon is we'll be transforming our problem into the s domain to solve it and then we always have to transform back to get our function of time. So let's practice that skill right now. We'll start with some easy problems and then we'll work our way up. So if you're given a function of s that's 1 over s minus 2, you want to transform this back to the time domain. So what you need to do first of all is take this function of s and go look over here at what we've already created and see if there's something that matches the general form of what we have and of course you can see that this function here, 1 over s minus lambda, fits the bill. Whatever is over here in this spot just goes into the exponential there. So without really doing any work at all, you can just really write down uh, that f of t that corresponds to this is e to the 2t. The hardest part of inverting a transform is just making sure to not do anything stupid or have any oversight in, in, or any careless errors is what I'm trying to say. Here you have s minus 2, so some people might put negative 2 here um, as a careless error. So you have to really compare and see what you're doing. You have 1 over s minus 2, here you have 1 over s minus lambda, so it's whatever's in the lambda spot goes there. It's already assuming that there's a minus sign here, so you don't stick an extra minus sign up there. You have to do um, just a careful comparison of whatever it is you're trying to compare with to make sure you're doing the right thing. All right. Now what if you had a function of s? That's 1 over 2s minus 1. And I wanted to invert that to a function of time. So I come over here and I, I look at this 1 over 2s minus 1. Um, I don't see anything that jumps out at me. Um, I see I have this guy, which looks kind of close, but it's not quite the same. This, none of these really look, look uh, very close. But then I realize I can actually kind of beat this into shape uh, and kind of force it to look like one of these guys over here. So my advice to you is, when you look at a function of s and you're trying to invert it back, first just see if something obviously matches it like it did in the first problem. And if not, see then if you can just use some algebraic manipulations to force it to look like something over there and then you can get what you need to do, get done. So for instance, this function of s, if you think about it, you can pull the 2 out in the bottom and then it would be over here s minus 1 half. We just factored out the 2 right? And again, this doesn't quite look like anything that we have over there either, but then you realize